My name is Joanne Pasha Pajani. I'm a Lebanese archaeologist and journalist. I started 25 years ago working in archaeology and rescue excavations in Beirut, and then I moved to journalism, and I worked in Lebanon, Syria, and Iraq, and I ended up documenting the destruction of heritage in the Middle East. A situation that has pushed me later on to get out of journalism and move more into activism and create my own NGO that is called Biladi. It's an Arabic word meaning my nation. Uh, in order for me to do more real work on the ground, whether in terms of education or safeguarding or training on things that are related to heritage and heritage issues, especially that I have seen and I have witnessed firsthand what does the destruction of heritage looks like and what does it mean to the population that is suffering from this and i wanted to see if i can learn from all this experience and put that learning in practice in fieldwork now your ngo has also a very different line of work which is related to um, antiquities mm -hmm. um, you are teaching know-how not only to um, Lebanese um, heritage specialists or heritage professionals, but also Iraqi and Syrian professionals uh, to show ways how to repatriate their stolen or, or looted work, antiquities art. So can you also briefly tell us about this very interesting work? This program is called Esterdad. Esterdad is an Arabic word again. It's an Arabic word that means recovering. It aims at helping nations of old civilizations like Lebanon, Syria, and Iraq, whose heritage has been looted and put offered for sale in countries where the sale of antiquities is totally legal. How do you recover these antiquities legally? So how do you actually legally, and what are the laws, and what are the conventions that you need to put in place for your country to be able to stop the sale of these antiquities and recover the items? This training course is supported by 11 experts from around the world, from the US, from the UK, Switzerland, Egypt, uh, and is supported by international NGOs such as Interpol, ICOM, Blue Shield, and police forces around the world. We, every year we teach around 30 people. Some of them are employees by their own governments who work whether in the dire General Directorate of Antiquities in Lebanon, Syria, or in Iraq, on the recovering and stolen items, or archaeology students and university professors who are interested in this topic in order to learn more about it and get more specialized about it. The, the necessity of this project came from the fact that the intensive looting that the area is witnessing, which is we're talking about disastrous looting and massive scale, is that the objects, the Iraqi objects have started flooding up on the market and we can see them and the Syrians are going to show up in a few years. Well, the Iraq Lebanese that were stolen during the war are now on the market. So the, there was a real need for it is that how do you constitute a dossier that is solid enough for you to be able to stop a sale in New York? Or how do you, so, so you constitute a very solid legal dossier to stop it in the in Swiss? And this is where the very interesting part about this project is that the partners on this project are all experts living and working in these countries where the sale is put is offered, but they are against it. So they decided to go and help the countries of origin on how to recover their items. And program is being successful? The program has been successful so far because we created, we did not, I mean, because the program created a sort of a circle of trust between the experts who are very knowledgeable people and also the participants who are very willing for change. And because of the circle of trust, the participants always uh, ask the experts who are offering their expertise pro bono for these countries in order to recover. And therefore, in some cases, when the objects were offered on sale and the dossiers were constituted, they needed to, uh, to give it the right legal push. And this is when Esterdad's expert helped. And so this, uh, and because it has a huge exchange of information between Lebanon, Syria and Iraq and as we all know the trade and the market or the sale of objects move from one country to the other. Uh, we thank you so much for all these interesting projects and all the information you have given to us about thank them. Thank you for the interview, it was a pleasure.